G'day, how you going? Ian Apolis here, your acrylic guru. Welcome to my video show where I'm gonna do a live painting on my YouTube channel where I like to teach beginners how to paint in acrylic. Now the, the size of the canvas is a 12 by 16, but I will put the colors that I've used and the size in the description below. And if you're watching the replay, you can scroll down there and have a look. And make sure if it's your first time here to share, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell, all right? All right, so we've got a few colors here. I'll just get set up while you're all the way over there. Uh, I want like me deep orange or Australian sienna or a red gold, which is quite like a deep orange. I've got me cup of coffee here, damn top stuff that. Uh, I want some craft white to um, condition the back of the canvas. So it's gonna be two halves, the sky and the water half. So I'll get all this over there happening and a bit of retarder. Now, I'm only using retarder because I know I'm gonna do some blending of colors and some clouds. So that's why I, the way I paint, use it. Okay, so for those people who aren't sure. So I've got that color, I need some titanium white, so I'll get all this set up as well. Thank you everyone who supports my content and I've, the GoFundMe page is still floating around there. I'm halfway there. Thank you very much for the people who have supported in the GoFundMe. We're just replacing everything that I use to keep this channel afloat, like camera, microphone, laptop, monitors, things like that, and other accessories as well, cables, leads, and um, HDMI plugs and stuff like that. So thank you very much for those people who have already supported into there. Now, uh, am I ready? I'm gonna do a beautiful, now this is gonna be a simple round sunset, all right? So get on over here and we'll get right into it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pick up the soft acrylic paint, the titanium white, it's a soft body. See how soft it is? And I'm mixing that with retarder. I call it craft white student paint, poster paint, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm mixing it with the retarder to keep it wet for a long time so it won't dry as quick. Because acrylic paints can dry very fast, depending on the climate you're in at the time. But yeah, so this helps keep it wet longer. Now I'm going to go roughly to my horizon line, which is about there. Get this putter on a brush, and I love this putter on a brush. It really puts it on it. Don't muck around. Look at that. See how... See how quick I got that painted? All right, I'm not using a little one. I'm, I'm not fluffing around all day. I'm getting things done. And if you want this putter on a brush, message me in the Facebook, links are in the description below, and I'll sort out about getting you this and the blending brushes. Now I'm going to the tip of the brush and stroking it left and right, and just getting that a beautiful thin sheet of primer, so to speak, on my canvas. Now I'm using quality canvas cloth here. Now I do need to clean this brush or do I? Not really, because we've got white on there. So what I'm gonna do, I'll come down here. I'm just gonna wipe the snot off that brush or the bulk of it. Okay, I'm just doing that off the back of the camera here. Okay, and now I've got me orange, deep orange, or I'm using red gold, uh, or Australian sienna. Now we'll get this, I pull it onto my putter on a brush, then I squash it in, then I turn it over. See how that's loaded? All on one side of me putter on a brush, but look, the other side ain't loaded. If I'm gonna paint like that, I'm gonna get some mishaps, so I'm, I'm gonna load it both sides. I pull it onto there and then push it into the bristles and then go backwards and forwards. And the bristles are bloated up now, look at that. Now this one, I want the darkness at the bottom and then go onto the top lighter. So I'm gonna push it on, find my tempo, okay, and then I'm gonna come up in strokes and it'll get lighter as we go to the top, all the way there. Now I'm going to the tip of the brush, the tip of the brush here, not there, and that's what's pretty much blending it. Now see, I've got the bottom darker like I wanted. I'm picking up some more, because I want Stamp it on where you want it dark, if you've got to add more. I'm stamping it onto this vicinity here. Okay, now, oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. And the more you massage it, you can play with the tempo of the tones of the color. 
I'm going to come back down and get that nicely ironed out, beautiful orangey sunsetting sky over the ocean. There we go. Now I'm feeling I'm a little bit, I want some bands of, where's the darkness? There we go. I want some bands of darkness up here as well, just about there. Beautiful. I didn't want it too pale at the top, otherwise it'll look a bit anemic. Don't want to have an anemic painting, do we? There we go, that's perfect, look at that. Too easy, said the man. All right, now I do need to wash this brush. We want some titanium white. Now I'm not gonna use this white paint as the white in the painting. Why? Because it's got no body, it's got no substance, it's got no grunt. Uh, and I wanna get some clouds on the sky. So we're gonna start with my hog bristle fan brush. I've got several hog bristle fan brushes and I like to get this chiseled onto the tip of the brush. There's our sky. Now, my sun's gonna be about here. So I want some beautiful clouds coming across the sky. So I'm gonna stamp these on. These are all lineal type of clouds. You've seen these clouds before, maybe in real life, or maybe in pictures. Uh, where's my mouse? Bear with me a minute. Okay, so I've got a lot of paint on this brush, so what I'm going to do is, because these are skinny little clouds, I'm going to try and use the brush just to do some light blending just like that. Okay, you can even have a little bit dangling out there. But when you do this sort of stuff, try and keep it very lineal like this way not too much all over waving now we've got that one there and my brush is getting a little bit dirty but that's okay i want this kind of orange white not bright bright white i'm going to come off here and just scoot along here coming up the painting some nice linear ones there all the way across now I'll get a bit more on there. I just want to heavy up some of this. And I'm going to use this brush again to get that. I'll wipe that off. Can you see that there? Yes. Wipe that off and use this to soften it down again, making the lovely luster of these clouds scooting across the sky. I'll zoom out later and give you an idea of why and how it's looking. Okay, now... They're a bit dull. We need a bit of uh, yumminess in there, so I'm just gonna grab some more pure white and just crack up some of the edges in here, like just stamp on where I feel it needs some more vibrancy, somewhere there, just like that, okay. Maybe something just coming right, well, sometimes bring stuff right off the painting there we go. Now you're getting an idea what's happening in the sky, okay? Coo wee. Uh, I've got to wash this brush, so I'm going to grab some more white. Now I want some halo type of clouds there, just going across the top of this. All right, so we're going to come from about this point, I want to come from about that point and bring it down to about here because it's important to have them sort of scattered in that direction. And let's hope I can get this. Now, I need this there. It's important to get this look. Watch what I do here. All the way along, have some gaps in it. Pick up a bit more white paint. And we're going to come along now this is going to be blended down from the top side. Put that down like a gentleman. Grab yourself an appropriate blending brush. I want to blend the bottom down, leaving the top there. Okay. I've got
got me little scumbling brush. Let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to dance, find my tempo. There we go. Get turmoil with it. Bring it back up. Now wipe the brush, the build up. And we're keeping that the 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 halo at the top. I think that's what it's called. Blend that down. Take your time, no rush. Look at that. I'm I'm even tapering this mergy blendy bit down a little bit more, even though you can't see it, but in real life you can see it. And when people look at your painting, they're just gonna like go, I like that. Going along here at the moment, bringing it down. Come across. Leaving that top hard white line there. There we go. I've got that look that I was wanting. Now in this camera it looks very white there it does all right we got that there now we're going to go up a bit more with some different clouds okay so we want to get the white again and I want to get some scattery ones up here now just some scattery ones about there like high cirrus evaporating into the sunset there and then they're going to come quite big as we come along so what I'm doing is I'm building the sky up as I go now I want to just sit those down leaving a lot of the vibrancy there but just getting rid of the deliberate stamp impressions I'm just touching pushing on and off, playing with it, looking as I'm blending, just seeing what's happening, if there's stuff there that I like or stuff I don't. Okay, we've got that softly done. It's looking good. Now I will add a little bit of yumminess to that. So I'm grabbing the same brush and the same white and just adding A little bit of yumminess here and there. Oh, he's got a daggy hair hanging off. Just in some of it. See how wet my paint is? That's what that craft paint, soft paint with the retarda has done. Okay, now we're going to come up to the top and finish it. So we'll just put some we'll stamp on a cloud over here I want to come across so I want a body of cloud I want something where I can make some darkness in here as well so I'll come right across something I can blend down as well bang right off the painting grab your blending brush and a cloth I keep forgetting to grab my kitchen towels okay now I want to Keep the top hard. I want turmoil to happen. I want some stuff to kind of fade down type of thing. But I want to keep the top tight and white. And then I'm going to add some deeper orange into this so it's not so anemic. I don't like that bit there. We'll get that going. When I add the orange in there, it'll, it'll help it hopefully. Get rid of that big bright bit of less. Turmoil, turmoil, pull it, put movement in your clouds. This is a simple painting, but something effective just to hang on the wall. Less is best. This is a nice one. Most of my lives, when I do a live painting, I'm choosing something quite straight to the point and simple because I don't have a lot of people here working with me. It's just me and myself. I'm a one man band, and you need a lot of crew if you're going to do a professional live show with a lot of time and detail all right we've got that done okay I'm grabbing just some more of the red gold 
I'm gonna grab that same fan brush and I need to add some of the darkness in there. Um, but before I do, I want a bit of raw sienna. I'm going to mix with it just to get a different value, you'll see. So I'll do it down here, then I'll show you on the, on the brush. Just so it's darker. It's kind of a browny, orangey colour. Now this is darker than that orange there. That's what I wanted. And in some of this cloud, like I'll just show you over here first, we're gonna put the weather within it, but it's the sun making it this color. Grabbing your blending brush and your cloth again, and you wanna turmoil that within your cloud. Go again, come on. Contact, move, dance. That's it. Nice and dark. But silhouetting parts of the cloud because the sun's down behind them. Okay, that's what this is actually doing. We'll get a piece in here. Same again. Keeping it dark in the middle and then breaking it up at the ends and stuff. Wipe your brush. A little bit more maybe here. I wanna try and keep it a halo up there like that. Something there to break up. You message me on Facebook, poor num, and you can use the same blending brushes I use. Uh, I send them out to people, payment through PayPal. Now there's a link for my art group, Annapolis Art Network. If you're not a member, become a member. Keep up to date with my daily movements on my YouTube channel here. Okay, that'll do. And then just to finish it off, is when you all, all, always do that, you just add your slight bit of yumminess where you feel you might want it within that second colour that you've put on there. I call it the yumminess because it brings the yumminess out into your cloud. So watch here. Leaving the vibrancy there, but just sitting the edges of it down. There we go. And we've got some reasonable, hang on, I need a little bit more in there. Some reasonable clouds in our sky. Marbly and full of turmoil and all sorts of business there. Okay, there's our sky. We can keep going with that until the cows come home, but that's pretty much our sun sky. Now I want to get the bottom half done. Now the water, oh, it doesn't matter. You didn't see that, but that's okay. The water's gonna be dark because the sun's already going down, so the water's in shadow, okay? So what we need for the water, is some turquoise. Oh, first I'll get the paint ready and then I'll prime it up. So where's my knives? Uh, my knives are over here. Where is it? This one here. So I'm going to mix up my water paint, which is turquoise. All right, there we go. I think that might be enough. And where are you? you can see there? Yes, some red. Now I don't have cadmium red, I've just got uh, parole red. He did a stint, he's on parole. So what I'm gonna do is create, with that knife, oh, you can hear me burp, so I gotta be careful when I'm live. <laughs> Coffee makes me burp. Uh, that's plenty of paint. I'm gonna, my goodness, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, that paint's been in there for a while. Now I've got to make the dark turquoise, so I'm going to use the red a little bit at a time because red's quite strong. I've already done a practice of this. Oh, come on, a bit more red. Now that 
It's getting out. Come on, get in there. There you go. Nice dark water. I might need a little bit more red as I go. We'll just see how we go. out for the replay I like my replays to be watchable tutorials so I do go back and edit them after they've settled in okay that's pretty much it I've got some white still there so at least I've got that done ready to paint so that's me turquoise and a red beautiful now back down here I'm going to pick up the craft paint thank you Linda and Valerie I sneezed I think the last live I did I sneezed as well all right I want to prime in the bottom area this white that I'm putting on this craft paint this soft bodied acrylic paint just helps your colors look their color and move across the canvas you get a bit of colored paint and paint on a raw canvas and you'll see what I mean now we want to get that reasonably tight against there nice and straight said the man with a hat who's not wearing one I never wear hats that's one thing I don't wear is hats okay getting I'm just playing with that till it's right you could take that up if you want okay Come forth, said the water. Who wanted the water to come forth? I forget now, sorry. Okay. We've got this paint down here. Give it a, a bit of a wet, just so as we're going to get movement. I wonder. Wonder I do. Now my canvas has creased a bit because that had wet paint on it and I dried it so it's tensioning but once I do this half that's a good thing about canvas it evens itself out. Now we'll start at the top. Oh that's the colour the man wanted. Now I'm going to brush this with the tape not into the tape. Beautiful. Pick up some more. If anything, my lighter area for the water would be at the bottom half. So I'm going to stroke that like a pure gentleman. Pick up some more paint. And when you want to add to what you've already painted on there, I always like to stamp it on like this. That way you're getting it on without it pushing through to the white again. So we stamp it on like this and you watch what it does. And you can pretty much control I want this to taper down to about there and becoming a bit lighter at the bottom. Okay, and get this nice up there, nice and dark. Now we can just rub our brush away there at the light a bit. Now start bringing it up and then work out how heavy you want to push that in. That's plenty. Plenty, okay. Like that. There's me water. The water come forth. Now what we need is some shimmer, a lot of um, glaring shimmer. So what we need for that is our toothbrush. Uh, some craft paint, which is there. Now that's titanium white, I don't want titanium white. So what I'm gonna have to do is make the shimmer up. I always use craft paint because it's so loose. Uh, now I want the slightest oodly doodly bit of that orange within it just to get a it's white but it's got the glare of the Sun in it okay so on the painting it's gonna look white but in reality it's got the live colors there so there's our color there now what I normally do is I get that quite wet I use a flat toothbrush what I mean by a flat toothbrush it's not a convex or a concave one it's flat across there this is one from the hotel now I come into the water and I start loading up just the tips 
of the brush, okay? Just the tips, just there. If you got it all full, it becomes hard to flick. Now we're just gonna do some good old shimmer across the water here, down here. Yeah, see that's white, but you can sort of feel and taste the flavor of the gold color in there. And out the dark a bit will slowly come in there. And my son's gonna be about here, so what I, I shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'll put that about there, that's where the sun's going to be. And that shimmer is just subtle, but it's there. It's just the light refracting off the top peaks of the water there. Can you see that? Does it show? Probably you'll see on the um, thumbnail when I post it in the group. And if you're not a member of my group, become a member and you can see all, everything I post there. Now that tape worked good there. I'm glad I put that on there. We've got a beautiful horizon line. How long have we been going for? Uh, how long have I been going for? Oh, here it is, it's up there, 37 minutes, cool. Now I need to dry this so we can put the sun in there, okay? Right, now we need our setting sun, which is gonna be quite easy to do. Uh, how do you do it? Now there's so many different ways. Uh, what I will do to make it easy for the beginner that does not have a steady hand, because not every beginner is young, A lot of us are becoming of age and getting a bit nervous and wobbly. Christy Burns, is that Christy Burns? Cyber hugs and kisses to you, sweetheart. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. Much appreciated. Your name is gonna get written down and you'll get a big shout in my shout out in my next Friday night live as well. So thank you very much for that. Christy Burns for this super chat donation. Everyone who supports me in any way, they always get shout outs in the following Friday Night Lives as well. Now, we wanna put our sun there. We want it nice and sharp. We want it kind of yellow. So I'm gonna have a mixture. You make up whatever yellow you want. I'm gonna try uh, a love deep Indian yellow. And I've got some cadmium yellow medium as well. So we'll sort of, we'll try and work out. And now I also want some Titanium white. Jeez, I've got so much paint there for such little thing I call a lot of sauce for little spaghetti. Now, I want to use a flat brush, so I'm going to brush mix it. I want to get the yellow mix for the sun. This is going to be so easy because I think that's just too orange. Yeah, so what I will do, let me, because we're using a yellow, I'm going to Prime the sun area first in white, so as our yellow will stick, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you might have painted reds or yellows onto something and you can sort of see through it. Now our sun, look at that hair hanging out about here. So I want to get a nice round, about that round. I want to come about there. Yeah, see that little hair sticking out, it's gonna hinder me. I want it about there. Now you can get a template and cut it out to make this circle even more rounder. I've got moon templates, I should have found an appropriate size. So you pretty much prime it like this. So when we put our yellowy sun color on there, it's gonna be solid and thick and show the color. It's not gonna be <coughs> anemic. Let's get this all the way up there. Now, if this sun does look a bit crooked, when the cameras are all off and I'm editing and stuff, I might neaten it up then, but you get the gist of it. So you prime it in first like that, right? Just put Malcolm back up there and then give it a dry. Now, under this paint, see, it's, I don't know if you can see it there, but I've got to be careful not to press too heavy because you've got that retarded paint under it and it takes a lot 
It's still dry under there, but rubbery. And if you press too hard, you're gonna start ripping into it. So you have gotta be careful of that when you've got that craft paint and retarder under your painting there. Now what I'm gonna do is mix up the yellow color that I want. So I'm getting the, mostly the cad yellow and just tempering it up with a little bit of Indian yellow. Look how much Indian yellow I put there, my goodness. Now I'm gonna paint this on because I don't wanna rip into the paint underneath, okay? Come on, mix in there, you. We don't want it to go uh, orange ochre, we still want it to have that yellow look, I mean yellow ochre. Okay, so we'll just paint him in now. Now, if I just painted this yellow, directly onto that orange sky, it would have looked stupidly stupid, I'm telling you. That's why with mainly reds and yellows, there are other colours as well, but reds and yellows, it always pays to put the white primer underneath first so it shows the yellow or shows the red. Now, I want to get the melting bit where it's just melting out here a little bit so we're coming back this way and there it's melting onto the thing there now we've got that there we've got the color we want just give that brush a quick wash Grab, oh, where'd the titanium white go? Grab some more titanium white. I'm just grabbing that on the brush. And the top half of the sun, I want to dance with the white. So that yellow's still wet. This is very simple painting. Now wipe your brush, wipe it just so as you can scrumble that in and then pick up some more white and it's just a matter of getting that density perfect. Okay, pretty much not quite to the bottom. Wipe the brush. See how there's a hard line there, just scrumble that. Scrumble it together so it's a beautiful. There we go. I'll take that tape out the way and just fix it up against the water where I might need to. There we go. Grab another flat brush. I've got some water on my brush. I'm going to see if it'll pull that away. On a very clean brush, I've just dampened it. Not too much because I don't want to rip the the watercolour off and I'm just getting rid of that. There we go. I need a little bit of that. I just hurt it a bit. Okay, there's our sun. Okay, where's me other brush? Now I've got me filbert and where is it? The perylene green. Now that'll dry, that sun will dry the colour it is. I've got good quality paints here as well. At student paints you might get some different effects but good quality artist paint, the way that is, is that sun is going to dry that colour. It won't change. Now I'm just grabbing this dark colour, just something to put in silhouette in the bottom corner there. I'm just using a flat filbert and around here, get it nice and dark in the corner. Don't have it too wet otherwise you'll see through it. And I want to try and make a bit of a foreground substance here. 
Now what I'm done, I've made it kind of wonkety donkety like that, okay? And then I'll come off it. But what are you doing here? Uh, I'll show you. If you saw that reference picture, you'll know. But if you haven't, you'll be wondering, what's he doing? What's he doing? There's a lot of uh, texture in there. I could leave that. That's fine. Now, what I'll need to do is to create, I'll get no blobs on there, is start coming off that now and getting some... Getting some, um, it's just like a tree in the foreground here. How's that looking? I've got to see if there's, yeah, get a bit more there. just slightly fading some of the edges now to get rid of that hard edge see what I'm doing with the tip of this brush and trying to merge it make it look something more slightly out of focus see what I'm doing there just getting it slightly out of getting rid of all the hard edges how's that looking that's a little bit better a little bit better. All right. That's pretty much a simple, easy, not bad how you go and painting. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'll just dry that bit down there. What are you doing Ian? Ah, I'm gonna come down here to the palette there like that. And I just wanna put my autograph on there to make the painting identifiable. So we'll autograph it and we'll whack a frame on it. Now be sure to check out the links in the description below. I want to thank all the people who are my patrons and that support my content by becoming a patron every month. Much appreciated. You helped me out quite a lot there. And remember, all my art is for sale. The brushes I use for blending are for sale. Message me on Facebook. Links are below. Become a member of my art group. To answer the questions, just say you saw me on YouTube. Put Steve's little paw print there. And we will whack a frame on that. All right. Let's go put that there. Where are you? Get on there, you. It's a little bit there. That's not too shabby, is it? A simple but effective sunset over the ocean. This could have been a little bit darker. I can probably play with that if I want, but we got that sun just melting down, going, uru, bye bye, all right? And I know you can do it. All right, I had a lot of fun painting this simple but effective painting live for you people today. And comment below if you have any questions. And just remember, if you like what I'm doing on my channel, you make sure you tell your friends. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.